Could have fingered down if you just travelled 15, 16 hours to go to LAX airport and once you get to LAX, finally you get to the border security control room and it takes three hours of a line to get to the desk and when you get to the counter he asks how you can support yourself in America so you have to show him your bank account and when you have no internet he goes I'll take you to my officer he escorts you to a room where you have to hand in your phone your passport instantly you then wait seven and a half hours in this room with all these people just to be spoken to once you're finally spoken to they make you wait another three and a half hours while they go through your phone that your bag everything you realize that your luggage that you checked in is lost and then they take you in for a full search of your body to make sure you're not carrying anything. They make you remove all your piercings, your shoelaces and hair ties and everything that you can possibly have on you to harm somebody else. This is the latest. Hey everyone, here is today's news. Aussie adult worker deported from US. An Australian adult entertainer claimed she was detained and deported from the United States in what she described as a traumatizing experience. Billy Beaver, who won Best Female Porn Star at last year's Australian Adult Industry Choice Awards, has claimed she was subjected to completely inhumane conditions at Los Angeles Airport after being intercepted by immigration officers and refused entry into the country. Ms. Beaver, from Brisbane, had planned to visit friends in LA and Las Vegas for just over a week, but instead she never made it out of the airport. In a TikTok video viewed more than 180,000 times, she explained she was taken to a private room and quizzed about her line of work, her income and whether she was a drug user. The 32-year-old said after a three-hour wait to get to border security she was asked by an officer how she will support herself in America. So you have to show him your bank account and when you have no internet he goes, I'll take it to my officer. He then escorts you to a room where you have to hand in your phone, your passport instantly. She claimed to have waited over seven hours in the room before officers allegedly took another three hours going through her phone, bags and then conducting a full body search. They make you do fingerprinting and photos and after another three hours they bring you into an interview room to swear under oath of all the questions they want to ask you and you're getting interrogated as if asterisk 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 k and it's so traumatizing and scary. The single mother was told she wasn't allowed to contact family or friends before officers allegedly revealed she would be put on a connecting flight back home to Australia after 12 hours. After over an hour they tell you you can't go into lax and have to go home. She claimed to have waited in a back room, describing it as an airport jail cell. It was traumatizing with bare minimum food, coffee, water and you feel all your human rights are taken from you, adding she had done nothing wrong. Billy's phone was handed to her when she boarded the flight that stopped over in New Zealand, but allegedly wasn't give her passport. They collect and escort you to your flight and when you're on the flight they give you phone. And in New Zealand, there's an escort waiting for you to monitor you so don't run away. Billy, still unsure as to why she got deported, said her family were looking to file a missing persons report. The whole thing was so inhumane. It was just so messed up. They took my phone, my passport. They didn't give a flying if asterisk 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 K, she told Yahoo. The lights were blaring. There was people screaming. I was crying at this point because I was like, I was exhausted and just kept thinking, how is this even legal to keep me here? They had nothing on me. She told the publication officers appeared to be looking for a reason not to let her into the country. It went from how do you support yourself, and I said with money. And I showed them my bank account, which I had a lot of money. And then they went through my job, went through my messages all the way back to 2021. They accused me of wanting to come for a green card, they just did anything to find something on me. According to the publication, eventually, after hours of interrogation, Billy said she'd realized she had in fact filled out a small detail incorrectly on her visa application, but neither her nor the responding officers even realized at first. News.com.o has contacted U.S. Customs and Border Protection for comment. Billy's experience comes as another Aussie adult content creator, Michaela Testa, was also deported from the U.S. Last year, the Instagram and OnlyFans user said she flew 20 hours from Perth to Los Angeles via Sydney, only to be detained on arrival into the U.S. I was just held by the U.S. government for nearly two days in a cell, she told her TikTok followers in a clip in April 
2023. I flew 20 hours from Perth to LA, and as soon as I got there I was detained. I gave them my passport, I was flagged or something. I had that sinking feeling in my stomach that I was in trouble. She went on to say that she had no rights while she was detained and her mobile phone was taken away from her. They basically own you and everything when you step foot into their country, she said. They asked me about everyone I knew in LA, and about their business, their money, what they do on a daily basis. Michaela went on to say that the guard began to question what she does on the subscription-based, adult content creation side only fans. They wanted to know if I'd ever collaborated with anyone in the US, she explained. I say no ma'am, and then she says I lied to her face. She pulls up a Twitter photo of me with a bunch of girls from the US, in a country that wasn't the US, I said. I thought you meant in the United States. It was that moment I was sent to another room where they hold people who are not there for good things. She claims the room she was sent to was like a war movie where they just had a box of tampons, a kettle and cups of instant noodles. She was eventually sent back home to Australia. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching and tune in next time.